Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a chart to highlight the top end or bottom end employees in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this dynamic chart. In this chart, we have given two option button top and bottom. Here we have this spin button to, to change the number. So let me show you first it is showing the top four employees and we can see on the chart we have four green bars. We have this table employee name by sales and we are highlighting on the chart top four employees in green color. You can simply click on bottom. Now it is showing the bottom four employees. Now this number four you can change using this spin button. Just click here to take bottom three, bottom two or just up as you want and click here. So this is whole dynamic chart. You can use it in your business dashboard or your daily report. Now I will explain you how you can create this in Microsoft Excel step by step. So please pause this video till the end. Now let me copy this data and press Ctrl N. Paste that data here. Let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. First of all, we will insert few form controls, option button and spin button. So go to the developer tab, insert and take the option button this one. Just click here. Just rename this as top. Now let's make a copy of this and paste and just rename it as bottom. Now go to the developer tab, insert and insert spin button and just drag this spin button here. Now first of all right click on any of the option button, go to the format control and cell link and just click on let's say cell N1, click on OK. So this is associated with this N1, now if I click you can see it is showing 1, if I click here it is showing 2. Just right click on this spin button, go to the format controls, the minimum value we will take 1 and the cell link we can take this O1. So we can simply change the values from here from this spin buttons. Now let's give it a proper name. So this N1 is the top or bottom. So we can just type here top underscore bottom and just hit the enter. So this is top and bottom and this is count. Count enter. All right. Now we will create here few support columns like sales then top n and bottom n. Okay. Let's put the formula first for top n. So we will put here uh, if if this cell which is top or bottom. So top underscore bottom equal to 1. That means it is top. Okay. Then we will use here rank function. So let me explain you first how the rank function will work. Use here rank and let's take first this number comma in the reference just select this whole range press F4 to freeze this and just hit the enter. Now we are getting the rank of this is Sabin. If I will fill this down we are getting the other ranks also. And by default it takes descending order but you can change it as ascending order also or you can fill this down. So accordingly it will be changed. The same formula we will use for the top we will use the descending order. So we can just copy this formula here and let's delete this. Now we will use if top underscore bottom equal to 1. We will again use another if and put here this rank function is less than or equal to count whatever we have selected here O1. Then we will show the value of sales b2 else we will show here any function just close this for this value if false when it is not top then again we will show na just close and hit the enter let's fill this down it is showing all na because we have selected bottom here let's select top then it is showing the top three if i will use this spin button then top five six seven or we can reduce this Okay, the same formula we will use for bottom, just paste here. The only thing in the rank function, we will put the order as ascending this one. Just hit the enter and just fill this down. 
another thing we have to change that is it should be two that means it should be bottom okay just fill this down so it is all any if i click here then we can see bottom two and if i click here this is top two here we will put the formula if again we will take this value equal to one that means it is for top then i will use here if is error this top then take this sales else take an a okay close the bracket comma we will use the same if uh, for the bottom case also just paste here but in place of d we will take here e which is for bottom that's it just hit the enter and let's fill this down so you can see for for top the values are coming here but here it is showing any let's take for bottom now for bottom here it is showing any here it is showing any and here we have the values okay our formula is done now let's select this range and select this all range using the control and mouse go to the insert and insert a stack column chart this one okay now we will quickly format this so let's take here some light color let's say this light blue and this is for the bottom this color is for bottom so i will take here this color red or you can take this color okay now let's select here top for the top again we are taking the same color so let's change it let's take the light green color this one now here you can see if i select the top or bottom then it is getting changed we can select this range and right click and hide this as you hide this nothing will appear on your chart so you can simply right click on the chart go to the select data click on hidden and empty cells and show data in hidden rows or columns click here okay make it slightly bigger and remove the legend from here remove the grid lines from here now we will show the data labels so the data labels on the top using some line chart so let's copy this column this one and just select the chart and paste it here so we can see that is appearing here right click and go to the change series chart type and for the last sales this one just take the line with marker this one click on ok select the line chart right click add data labels click on the data labels right click go to the format data labels and so on above all right now select the line again and here go to the fill and line say no line then go to the marker and say marker option as none so we are seeing only data labels now here you can put the chart title dynamically so you can put here if this value is equal to one then put here top space else put here in the inverted comma bottom space okay close the bracket and just select this value which is count and put here employees close the bracket hit the enter now we can see here top two employees if i increase top three or if i select this one then bottom three so we can select the chart title go to the formula bar press equal to and connect with this one and just hit the enter so this is a dynamic chart title now if i click on bottom then here you can see it is getting changed all right friends now you can add one rectangle here insert a rectangle this one just right click and send it to back and change the color of this take the little lighter color let's say this one and you can move this spin button here move this option buttons also here press ctrl a and make it group all right so this chart is done now you can just click here to see that click here or you can just increase or decrease the count now you can select these cells go to the font color take the white color so that will not be visible now you can see the chart is ready so friends that is how you can create this dynamic chart friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching